Good day. I'm Irapsy and I'm out of the office today, but I don't want to leave you in a lurch. So let's review moving averages if we could, because I think they're so important in all types of analysis if you're a chartist. And the first thing that comes, why use one? And the answer is because it's a reference point. You'll see me over and over talk about moving averages and the market gets away from it and it comes back and I'll say it's going back to what I call the line in the sand. Really what it is is a reference point. And the moving average, if you look at it, just the way it will look here, it's probably the most widely used of all the technical indicators. It's no more than an average of prices over a specified length of time, and it can be an average of, say, the highs, the lows, the settlement prices. There's many different ways to do it, and there's two different types of averages. There's also an arithmetic and exponential. I prefer the simple arithmetic. It is, by used, it is used by analysts to try to determine direction, support, and resistance in a market. There's many ways to use it. The average is typically calculated by adding together the sum of all the prices, then dividing that sum by the individual amount of averages added together. For the purpose of what we're doing here, let's say it's of closing prices, which is similar to us going together to a bowling lane, having a couple of beers, bowling, and we say, okay, we just bowled and we're going to take the score for three uh, lines that we bowl. The first one's 100, we drink a little, we're getting better, we go to 120, we drink some more, we get up to 140. Well, what's our average? You take the sum of those three, it's 360 divided by three, and we have 120. But you can imagine, I'm not satisfied. Let's drink a little bit more, and we're going to do that. We're going to bowl a fourth game. But by doing that, I want it to be a moving average. What I'm saying is we warmed up. Let's get rid of that 100 day, the oldest number out there, and let's add a new game. And that'll be the one we just did. And lo and behold, it's even a higher number. We add up the last three lines of this. It's 420. We divide it by three and guess what we get? We get a new average and the number has moved. Now, just as easily, we could take another game and get sloshing drunk and drop the 120 and go back to 100. You understand the point. You're moving those numbers. That's why you call moving the average. When bowling and you want to know your average score of the last three games, you simply don't count the furthest game out. You only add up the last three. If you're doing an 18-day average of closes, it's the current quote right now in the past 17 closes. That's how you calculate a moving average. It's really not much more difficult than that. To learn more about this, I invite you to go to our website. You'll see a whole arena of different things you can get from our futures trading kit to my charting course. What you just saw now is how I teach in my charting course. That's under the word education www.irapstein.com, 866-973-2077. See you shortly.